the a portrait of Asa Packer that hangs in the Asa Packer dining room at the University Center has been in that location for about 40 years. And uh, it's time for us to take a look at it and evaluate its condition and see if we can get it cleaned up and restored. The logistics of getting that painting down are going to be complicated because uh, it's, a, it's a high location, we need to get a lift. We're not entirely clear on whether or not the painting can exit the building through any of the ordinary entrances or exits because it's been there for so long. We don't know what's changed in the architecture in the time that it's been there. Yeah, it's, it's, grim, it's grimy. Right. Well, many have noticed that over the years, Asa has become increasingly sort of scary looking as the painting has become darker and darker. Some people have been calling him Spooky Asa, um, sort of looking down on them while they're eating. As we teach all of our museum study students, works of art last as long as their parts stay stuck together. <laughs> it's a simple definition, but it's actually um, really crucial to understanding conservation. Paintings, sculptures, prints, they're all made of different materials that artists have configured in particular ways to embody their ideas and to show us what they were thinking and experiencing. Conservation is kind of like playing chess. You can't just do a move blindly, okay, I'm gonna take the next move, I'm gonna take the next move. You have to kind of think into the future. So what you do with conservation is you, you devise these steps to a certain point and then say, okay, let me come up with a couple of different scenarios if it goes this way or it goes that way. And once I get some more information, it'll make it a little bit clearer what direction we need to go to. portrait of Asa Packer has returned from a year-long conservation process. Well, one of the things we discovered was that it was a much darker painting than we thought that it was going to be. We didn't know when they took it off the wall um, whether uh, the restoration would reveal a sunny sky or a daytime scene, but in fact it's a pretty dark and sober painting to begin with, and now we're pretty confident that that was the artist's intention from the beginning. We don't know why, but that's the case. He looks a lot cleaner than he did. Wow, it was like looking through mud before, right? We don't know who, who the artist was. We don't know the details at this stage of, of, of when it was painted or even why it was painted, but it has come to the university as one of the signature portraits of its founder, Asa Packer.